on YouTube. We ain't gonna be doing Facebook anymore. They completely got all butthurt about playing music on the on the auction, even though it's not monetized. Completely shut my whole entire video down. So there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna need to ask you guys about tonight that I didn't get wrote down that we think sold that was in the box and has people's names on it. I need you to mute that knob pod. But I'm going to be doing something a little bit different tonight, guys. Um, like, like the title says, it's going to be a double auction. So let me show you exactly how that's going to work. So I got my A and B. We're going to have an A and B format tonight. Let's go ahead and put on some bottle hound music. That is our waffle that's ongoing currently, guys. 1840s open panel scroll flask. Slots are $20 each. There are still some slots remaining, so let me know if you'd like one of them. In the meantime, enjoy the music, and then we will get started. Well, let me wait till the auction starts before I start asking people Why about stuff.
No, we won't have that issue anymore, Poof. I'm the only moderator now, so that can't happen again. I was seeing the same thing, though. I wasn't seeing no comments there for a minute. Hey, Andrea, good to have you tonight. Everybody, welcome, welcome to the Saturday night Crick Digger Bottle Auction. Double auction night. Happy Easter to everybody, too. Hope everybody has a great Easter tomorrow. Right off the bat, guys, we have an ongoing waffle for this nice, really nice open panel half pint. Scroll flask, floor to floor, double star. That's being done in 20 slots at $20 each. We've already sold four slots. Scarce in the McCarran book. GIX 37 is what the wife is saying that one is. Steve Joyner, what's up, buddy? Good to have you. Just made another awesome shake. Well, I didn't. The um, Haley did for the wifey from Steve Joyner's recipe. So appreciate that, brother. She really enjoys those. Laurel, how you doing, sister you, lady? So the remaining slots, guys, on this bad boy are one four, five, six, and nine through 20. Let me know if you would like a slot or two. As soon as all the slots have filled up, we'll spin a wheel live on here. Whoever it lands on is the winner. This does not have any damage. It's a half pint open panel, floor to floor scroll flask. Scarce in the, in the McCurin book. Steve Coppin, what's up, brother? Good to have you tonight. Hey, Steve. So we'll leave that up there just one moment while I explain how the auction's going to work tonight. Andrea, this is what's called a historical flask. And this particular one happens to be open panel. You can see this circular sharp glass here. That's where they broke the uh, bottle off of the punty rod after they blew it. This is hand-blown from the 1840s, 1850s. It's got a really nice kind of a flared out lip design. It's considered aquamarine in the McCarran book for color. Does not have any damage at all. It's got a really cool bubble right there in the panel. It's paper thin. And it is considered comparatively scarce in the McCarran book, which is a big, big collector book for anybody that collects this kind of stuff. Slots are $20 each. Let me know if you'd like one. This is like a $400 flask. The remaining slot numbers are 1, 4, 5, and 6, and 9 through 20. $350, dollars flask. Yeah, it's a, and it's mint condition, too. It's really, really nice. So potentially, you could win it for 20 bucks. It has been done many times. Yes, it has. And they're not very big either. No, this is a half pint, so I'll get you a measurement on this real quick. This one is six inches. Six inches tall on that one, guys. So we are going to be we are going to be running a B format tonight, which simply means I'll be running an A item and a B item at the same time. If you guys would just place an A or B before your bid, we're going to be running the same bid format. We're going to bid till there's nobody else that wants to bid. Then I'm going to actually put up a 20 second timer which is going to be right here. I'm going to put it in front of A or B or in the middle for both items if they go off together. At that time, if no further bids come in, Jake, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. If no further bids come in before the timer ends, whoever the high bid is at that time wins. If another bid happens to come in before the timer ends, that item will continue to be bid on until the timer comes back out again. There won't be any snipes or anything like that going on. Just 
When timer ends, whoever high bid is wins. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to be running two different items. Sometime it may not be a bottle. I've got some really cool uh, old postcards and military memorabilia and just all kinds of really cool stuff. I've got some uranium shards that I put in a couple bottles. Purple X, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. It's not going to be a super high-end auction tonight, guys. Still doing the uh, taxes and getting the finances back for the for this year. So a lot of Doug stuff tonight you're going to see from recent videos, including the little tiny poison that I just dug in the last video. So that's what you're going to be seeing tonight. Jimmy B, what's up, buddy? Been a long time. Yeah, it has. Good to have you tonight. Yep, happy Easter, Isabel. Happy Easter, everybody who celebrates. We certainly are. And real quick, guys, this is a open panel scroll flask waffle format. <clears throat> $20 slots. Let me know if you'd like one. Going to give it about a minute more, and then we're going to get started with the auction. I know everything is super expensive, is everything. All right, I'm not seeing any slot people at the moment, so we're going to pull that. We'll bring it back out here in a little bit. And we're going to get started on the AB format. So A, it's going to be a half pint Queen City Dairy. Just dug in the last video. No damage at all. This one's got the patent date of March 3rd, 1925. It says cream top from Queen City Dairy. Half pint safe milk on the reverse. That's going to be A, that's going to be Bitter's Choice. And then B is going to be this really nice Waterman's Inkwell full of uranium glass. Uranium shards from the hospital dump. It says Waterman. It says this container made in USA. That's going to be B. Also going to be Bitter's Choice. So A and B now open for bids, guys. Just let me know um, before your bid, whether it's A or B. No, I, I will hear in a little bit, honey. So A is the Queen City half pint, and B, let me go ahead and give you a glow show on that bad boy. B is the Waterman's Inkwell, full of uranium shards. Look how much they glow in the black light or UV light. Really nice, bright, bright. And then the Queen City glows actually pink. That's selenium glass. So we got Andrea at five on B. Five on B, looking for six. Open bid on A. Yeah, and I figured I had enough uranium shards that I've been saving up. I had my son actually crush some up into smaller pieces. Absolutely marbles. Let me grab a random marble out for each one of them, actually. This is a beautiful peach four-vein cat eye full of little snow or seed bubbles. We'll pop that one in there on with the milk. And then this is kind of like a pearl. It's like a white. Really nice and shiny. We'll put that one in with the inkwell. How about that? There you go, guys. Like a little Easter egg. Oh, yeah, timer. Giveaway timer. Going. Yep, I got you, Andrea. All right, guys, we're looking for six or higher on B and Bitter's Choice on A on the Queen City Dairy Half Pint. No, the white marble does not glow, nor does the cat eye one. 
But that uranium sure does. Six or higher on B and bidder's choice on A. Anybody else interested? So here's how we're going to do this. 20-second timer going up on B. We're looking for six or higher. You got 20 seconds to bid. Hey, Isabel. Hey, Teresa. And Laurel. And sold. That was B sold to Andrea. Sister Lady Andrea. Steve, that six was not in in time, my brother. Do you have any more that you can put up? Yeah, I have some more. We're going to put some more up, though, Steve. Andrea got that one at five. That was really close. We're going to go up. Backbone Mountain to the tip top to where I'm from in Oakland. When? Tomorrow? Yeah. What and time are we doing that? Dinner starts at 2. Here. That's Andrea. And we're going to have dinner with uh, my family up there. Get a marble bag started. Violet's A at 7. Violet's a 7 on A. Thank you, sister lady. 7 on A. And B is going to be this really nice ribbed two ounce poison bottle also just dug in the last video early machine made cork top doesn't have any damage and a blue and yellow swirl marble honestly i'm not worried about losing money on my side of things he wasn't in in time so that's how we're going to call it Looking for eight or higher on A. And we're going to do a $5 start on B. Really bad lag tonight, Steve. That's all right, brother, man. I'm trying to wait for you. Scott's in at five on B. Appreciate you. Iz is in at six. Looking for seven on B. Looking for eight on A. Eight on A, seven on B. Let me write Andrea down here. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling, guys. Looking for eight on A on the half pint Queen City Dairy. Scott's in at seven on B, just ahead of you, Andrea. Looking for eight on A and eight on B. Eight on A and eight on B. Eight on B with Steve Joyner. Thank you, brother man. Looking for nine. Eight looking for nine on B. Looking for eight on A. Nine with Andrea on B just ahead of you, Purple and Steve. Scott's in at 10 on B looking for 11. Gary's in at 12 on B looking for 13. Eight on A, 13 on B. Yep, I agree with you. We're going to go to the clock on A, 20 seconds, looking for 8 or higher. Andrea's in at 13 on B, looking for 14 on B. Looking for 8 on A. Scott is out. Scott's out. Appreciate you, brother. 14 or higher on B. 8 on A. A is sold to Violet for $7. Seven dollars on A. Nice pickup, sister lady. Woohoo, Violet! Gary is out. 
Violet at seven. Anybody, anybody else interested on Two me? Ounce, we need 14, fourteen or higher. And marble. Okay, and then let me get a marble bag, guys. Go with the violet. Let me go ahead and put. Let me go ahead and put an A up here. A, real quick, guys. It's just going to be a sauce bottle, blown in mold, tooled cork top sauce bottle, and I'm going to include a matching glass stopper to go with it. And I'll get a marble here as well out of my jar, just a random. Ooh, here's a pretty six vein yellow, blue, and white cat. Uh, Timer on B. Looking for 14 or higher on B. Going to the timer on B. Here we go. 20 seconds to bid. I need tape on these. Yeah, just give you a ton of tape on I already used them all. Purple's in it. 14, 15 on B. So we're going to go back, reset the timer. B. B is still going, guys. The best part of waking up is a Cumberland half pint in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got purple at 16. We need 17 or higher on B. 17 or higher on B and bitter's choice on A. Andrea's out on B. Bitter's choice on A. 1905 to 1910 sauce bottle. 17 or higher. Seventeen or higher on B on the two ounce poison. Can I light up A? Let me give that a shot. Let me see what we got going on here. Yes, absolutely. Look at that nice glow on that sauce bottle. Real nice stretch marks all down throughout the neck of it. That's a beauty. And the marble has a little bit of glow as well. Good call on that, Andrea. Timer back, for B. timer back up for B. All right, guys, we're going back to the timer on B here. We're looking for 17 or higher. Steve's in at 20. Steve's in at 20 before I even start the timer. Looking for 21 or higher on B. Looking for bidder's choice on A. Bitter's Choice on A on the Sauce Bottle and the Six Vein Cat Eye Combo. 21 or higher on B on the Two Ounce Rib Poison Bottle and the Sweet Marble. Andrea's in five on A. Thank you, Sister Lady. Looking for six or higher on A. 21 or higher on B. Of what? I used a lot of them during the Facebook thing because the things were so small they went in bags. I know, and I just put them all in the boxes. There's not very many Woman, boxes. you can come over here and look for yourself, but I used most of them. You didn't, baby. I did, you baby. I used everything. <laughs> There's three. Bags over here with labels still on them. And then here's some more under Thank here. Thank you. All right, where are we at here? If you look into the future, does the bridge collapse affect you and your family? No. Um, it's probably going to increase prices on things, I would imagine like Amazon and stuff like that that was being imported. So it probably will affect us, but not... Thank you. Thank you what? I don't know. That was on the other seven. The other bottle. Yeah, that was on the other one, Purple Brother. You're still at five, 
Yeah. That was on the that was on the milk bottle. We're gonna go to the timer on B, guys. Twenty one or higher. You got twenty seconds to bid. And we're looking for six or higher on A. Six or higher on A. I made up a bunch of them. Oh, it's okay. No worries. Yeah, five on A. B just sold to Steve Joyner for twenty dollars. Nice pickup, brother man. Steve Joyner at good, twenty. Purple. It's a little confusing for us too, so he's <laughs> switching it up. Oh yeah, I'm always switching it up. Don't be surprised if you don't see it in three other auctions next week. <laughs> All right, another B. Let's do the Fenton Bell. Let's do a signature glass Fenton Bell signed by C.A. Hall, and it also has the Fenton sticker right there. We're going to put that in as B, and the wife is also going to add a marble. We're going to go to the timer on A. Six or higher on A. Six or higher on A. Here is. Happy Easter, Gregory. Thank you, brother man. Sold. Sold to Andrea at $5. $5 on the sauce and marble combo. What are we doing on the bell, babe? Here. Put this one with it. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Happy Easter! The wifey's going to add this really nice marble to go with it, guys. Hold on a second. Here we go. Look at this marble right here, guys. Incredible. What'd you say, baby? 20 with the marble. 20 with the marble on B. The Fenton signature bell. And that really nice shooter marble. Special run. J-Bo special run. <clears throat> 20 on B. And then for A, we're going to do another milk. We're going to do a half pint Cumberland Dairy. Cumberland Dairy, 301 Springdale Street, Cumberland, Maryland. This is a nice one right here. Little half pinter. Does not have any damage at all. It's actually got like an extra protrusion of glass on the side of it there. It must have been stuck on the mold piece. But there you go on that one. And then I'm just going to grab a random. Beautiful. Three vein lime green cat eye. We're gonna add there with the Cumberland Dairy. That's gonna be a ten dollar start. So ten on A, twenty on B. Ten on A, twenty on B, guys. You can draw with the fifteen on B. Twenty one on B with Steve looking for twenty two. Ten on A, twenty two on B. Oh, that's a sweet marble. It should glow, too, I think. You think it glows? Yeah. All right, give me one second. Fenton should Bell. Marble. Sure. 10 on A we're looking for, guys. 10 or higher on A. 22 on B. 22 on B. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to glow that thing. The bell glows real nice and bright green. Check that out. The marble. No. Marble. The marble doesn't have much of a reaction. A little tiny bit. 
of like a light bluish green there. But that bell looks nice there. And then the milk, obviously, selenium glass with that pink glow. But there you guys go. 25 on B, looking for 26. And we're looking for a $10 start on A. $10 start on A on the Cumberland Dairy half pint milk. Anybody interested in the milk? A little bit. Steve Coppins got 10 on A. Thank you, my brother. Eight, Violet's in at 11. Just ahead of you, Jimmy. Looking for 12. 12 on A. 26 on B. 12 on A. Jimmy's in at 12. Thank you, brother. 13 or higher on A. 26 or higher on B. Run the clock on B. Run the clock on B. Alright, we're gonna go to the clock on B, guys. 26 or higher on B. You got 20 seconds. <laughs> Steve, Steve said to summon his nurse. Nice. <laughs> There you go, sold, Steve Joiner, my brother man, on the Fenton Signature Bell and the J-Bo Special Run Shooter. There you go, service, my brother. Please, service, please. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, my brother. Put your marble in your bag here. We are looking for 13 or higher on A. 13 or higher on A, guys. Let me wait on that. Um, yeah, yeah, the bell's right here. I mean, you can show it real quick. I'll go and take a second. Okay. Next up for B, guys. Next up for B, we have a Emerald Green Larkin Soap Company from Buffalo with the original content. Still has the soap particles inside of it. And the really nice matching stopper to go with it. This one has no damage and is complete with contents. Complete Larkin perfume soap with contents. Violet's in at 14 on A. And with this one, here is, we're going to pick out a peach. Another peach four vein cat eye marble. Matt McBottles, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. Trying to get your move done. I hope it's going good for you and nothing gets damaged in the process. I know how frustrating and stressed, stressed out moving can be. You know what, guys? I'm also going to throw in this really nice green medicine vial as well that I dug with the Larkin. That's going to be a $30 start on B. Looking for a $30 start on B. And we're looking for 15 or higher on A. Violet's in at 31 on B. Purple, I got you 30. We're looking for 32 or higher on B. We're looking for 16 or higher on A, or 15, I'm sorry. 15 or higher on A, 32 or higher on B. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the timer on A. We're looking for 15 or higher. 
20 seconds to bid. Thirty-two or higher on B. You got ten seconds on A. Fifteen or higher. Thirty-two with B with Andrea. Thank you. Looking for thirty-three and sold. A to Violet at fourteen. Fourteen on the Cumberland Dairy half piner. Oh, Jake, that 15 was out by a couple of seconds after the timer, my brother. That one has sold. Fourteen. And we're looking for 33 or higher on B on the Larkin, full with contents. The little green medicine vial and the four vein peach cat eye marble. Whatever I did, hey, I didn't do anything, Steve, brother. I have not been worrying about any kind of negativity towards me whatsoever. I've just been doing my own thing. So I'm glad to hear it. Next up, guys, is a really nice one that I just recently dug. Check it out. Schoolhouse Inkwell, my very first. Blown and mold, tooled, cork top. Schoolhouse Inkwell, baby. Look at that. That's going to be A. And let's see what we got here. Honey, pick me out a good marble to go with that inkwell. We're in at 36 on B with Steve Joyner. Looking for 37. Had to test your lag. I feel you, brother. Looking for 37, 37 or higher on B. And the Schoolhouse Inc., we're going to do a $15 start on that one, guys. No damage. It should glow in the black light. And the wifey is picking out one of her special marbles to go with it. Looking for 15, start on A. Oh, that's a cool one, baby. And this really pretty marble, yellow and orange corkscrew. Yellow and orange corkscrew. Hi, Catherine. Out on B, Andrea. We're looking for 37 or higher on B. And I'm going to go ahead and glow the ink. Yeah, look at that beautiful light green glow. And the marble that the wifey just gave us has got a really nice streak of orange glowing in there. But there you go. 15, looking for 15 on A on the Schoolhouse Inkwell. Looking for 37 or higher on B. The ink is not embossed, unfortunately, Violet, but... It's tough to find schoolhouse inks. And that's an American one, too. Okay, so we had Andrea, or we had Steve on A at 15. We have Andrea back at 16. So we're looking for 17 or higher on A. We're looking for 37 or higher on B. 37 or higher on B, we're going to go to the timer. 20 seconds, guys. No. Violet's in at 40 on B. We're going to stop the timer. Looking for 41 or higher on B. Looking for 17 or higher on A. Seventeen or higher on A on the schoolhouse inkwell and the corkscrew marble. Forty-one or higher on B on the Larkin full with contents, the little green medicine vial, and the peach cat eye. Yeah,
we can put it away for now if you want. I was just going to move some boxes over, and I can get it to work. <laughs> 41 or higher on B, 17 or higher on A. We're going to go back to the timer on B, guys. 41 or higher. Awesome, Andrea. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Sold B to Violet at $40. So $40 to Violet. Here you guys go. Be careful. This one has the contents in it. Not a par. Yeah, I think it was a desk ink, Steve. I'm, I mean, it resembles a schoolhouse, which is the reason they call it a schoolhouse ink. It's just a lot harder to find of an ink. I don't know if it was just made for a limited time or what the reasoning being is. But next up, guys, on B, check this out. Here's one that I have not ever sold before. This is a whistle, whistle soda bottle. And this one, check it out, is from Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama whistle soda bottle. Where's Ben Carr at? <laughs> Where's my brother, man, Benjamin? And we're going to throw in this real nice four-vein yellow cat eye. And look at that blue streak going through it. That is neat. A little blue streak through the cat eye. <clears throat> you have the green larkin with the stopper and contents, Catherine. Awesome. Good for you, sister lady. Yep, in Alabama. <laughs> We're going to do a $12 start on B. And we are still looking for... I got a new phone case, so I had to press a little harder on the uh, screen to get my finger to recognize. Looking for 17 or higher on A. 17 or higher on A and 12 start on B. Birmingham, Alabama, Whistle Soda. Yeah, baby. Uh-huh. Okay. Bought at an antique shop that you had merch at years ago. Nice, Catherine. Very cool. All right, guys. I'm not seeing any other bids on the ink. So we're going to go to the timer on that. 20 seconds on A. 17 or higher. Sold sixteen dollars on the schoolhouse ink well. To Andrea. Andrea on the schoolhouse. Nice pickup. Here you go, this is Andrea. Alright. Nice pick up, sister lady. Okay, guys, next up for A, we have a beautiful teal yeah. JSP sauce bottle. Beautiful teal. Blown in mold, double collar, tooled top. Absolutely flawless. 1880s, 1890s, JSP sauce. And with that one,
Here's a really cool marble. This is a six vein cat eye, white, orange, and yellow. White, orange, and yellow. The teal JSP sauce is going to be a $40 start. So $40 on A, $12 on B. $12 on B. The Late, or the height on the sauce is nine inches. Nine inches tall on the sauce bottle. Looking for a 40 start on A. Looking for a 12 start on B. Christina Lacey's in 45 on A. Hey, sister lady, good to have you tonight. Looking for 46 or higher on A. 12 start on B. Andrea. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull B out of there. Nobody interested in the Alabama whistle. Here's a cool one. How about a Kerr mason jar, self-sealing, dug from the hospital dump, probably 1930s, 1940s. And I also dug the Kerr glass seal. I'm going to let go with that one. We're going to do that one as a bidder's choice item. So B is going to be bidder's choice, and we're looking for 46 or higher on A. That is a one pint Kerr mason jar. It just needs a band. Forty six or higher on A. Bitter's choice on B. Andrea's in at five on B. Thank you, sister lady. Six or higher on B. Forty six or yeah, forty six or higher on A. Anybody else interested in A? We're going to go to the timer on A, 46 or higher. 20 seconds to bid. Sold to Christina Lacey at 45. Sister Lady, really nice sauce. Here you go. This one was Christina Lacey's. Next up, guys, check it out. The little teeny tiny Hazel Atlas poison bottle that I just dug in the last video. I showed this to several poison collectors. Has not seen one. I only found one other fella that has ever dug one. And check it out. On the base of it, it's got the Hazel Atlas. I believe it is considered a K8. It's got a K-8. This one still has some contents in it. I did not open it. I did not want to tear the uh, lid up, so I'll leave that up to your discretion, whoever buys it or wins it. But there it is, a little teeny tiny Hazel Atlas poison bottle. I know, isn't that wild, Violet? That one's going to be a $50 start, guys. $50 start on the Hazel Atlas poison bottle. 
and let me show you the actual size of this thing. Look at here with the with the lid on it. It's two inches high, two inches. That is a nice one right there. Just dug in the last video, and that's a fifty start. And I'll get you a marble to go with it here in one moment. You need to get Christina Lacey's in the bag. Fifty start. Pam's in at fifty on the Hazel Atlas Poison. Thank you, sister lady. Remember two dollar increments after fifty, guys. I'm actually gonna add two really nice marbles with the poison, guys. Just because it's a great bottle and it deserves two marbles to go with it. I'm gonna put this really nice sky blue or aqua blue four vein cat eye in there and i'm gonna put in one of my widow marbles one of my ladybugs there you go guys i'm gonna go to the timer on b looks like we are stuck at five on b we're looking for six or higher on b we're at 53 on a looking for 55 or higher on a Six or higher on B. So, Andrea, you got the Kerr Mason jar for five dollars. Here you go. Yeah, I don't know what's in there. Like I said, I didn't want to mess the lid up, so I didn't I didn't overly clean it. It did come from the hospital dump, so I would imagine it's some kind of patient related medication. It's a little small to be like a rodent poison. I'm I'm just not sure. Something very powerful that they wanted they wanted people to know, hey, it's poison. Wild Bill's in at 55 on A. Appreciate you, brother. Looking for 57 or higher. And B, we're going to put up Lichtenstein's Pharmacy from Cumberland, Maryland. Also, Doug, in the last video, blown in mold, tooled cork top. That's going to be our B item. Gonna grab a random marble. Violet's in at 62 on A. Looking for 64. And this is gonna be a beautiful peach. Four vein cat eye. Pam's out on A. We're gonna do a $12 start on B. 12 on B. Looking for 64 or higher on A. Remember what that green larkin sold for? No, the little green one with the contents oh, in it. Okay. The first? That'd be the first one. No. Oh, the other content. Okay. Poison and two marbles on A, and then B is the Lichtenstein. And then marble. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Wild Bill's in at 64 on A, looking for 66 or higher. And $12 start on B. Lichtenstein's Pharmacy, blown in mold, tooled cork top from Cumberland, Maryland. And a peach four vein cat eye marble. 12 on B, 66 or higher on A. Violet. 
Yeah, I know she won it, but for what? We got 12 with B on Scott. Thank you, brother. Or 12 with Scott on B. Looking for 13 or higher on B. 66 or higher on A. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm called up to that point. To that point? Yep. You don't have any others after that? No, I have. I'm, oh, I got okay. them all. Yep. Okay. 13 or higher on B on the Lichtenstein's Pharmacy from Cumberland, Maryland. And the Peach Cat Eye. 66 or higher on A on the Rare Hazel Atlas Poison. 67 with Violet on A looking for 69 or higher. 69 or higher. Yeah, that was the day that we were out there, Russell, and we pulled five of them. Same size, I believe, as all five. The measurement on the Lichtensteins on this particular one is three and a half inches. Three and a half inches tall on the Lichtensteins, two inches tall on the Poison. 69 or higher on the Poison, that's what she said. I hope not, Andrea. <laughs> 69 or higher on the poison, 13 or higher on the Lichtensteins. Whoa. Wild Bill's out. Thank you, brother. Did you watch that? Uh-uh. Okay, as soon as you moved the paper like that, nothing touched that marble, but it moved. It did? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes they do some weird things in that light box. Bottles will fall over for no reason. Sixty-nine or higher on A, thirteen or higher on B. Anybody else interested in either one of those? So here's how this is going to work, guys. Timer in the middle. This is for both A and B. Both A and B. 20 seconds to bid. 69 on A, 13 on B. Sold. A sold for 67 to Violet. B sold to 12 to Scott. Nice, guys. Very nice. second here make sure I got everything situated oh just in time for giveaway number one we are rocking and rolling tonight this is Scott oh nice There it is. There's a giveaway timer, guys. Giveaway time, giveaway time. Okay, so for the first giveaway tonight, we're going to do a insulator that I recently found out exploring a Heming Gray 17. Heming Gray 17 insulator. 
That's going to be our giveaway number one. Found out with my brother man, JC. Yep, giveaway time. We got 60 people in the room. Sweetheart, you want to pick out a number between 1 and 60? Hemingway 17 insulator. The wifey's gonna pick out a number. Use the TV screen. If it starts going too fast, I can't slow down. All right. I got the number. I'm going to put it behind the A over here. It's hiding back in there. As soon as we get the okay from the wifey, we're going to go. Oh, guys, you forgot this little one. See, we've already sold 11 items, guys, versus a normal auction. We would have been on like six or seven. Here, this goes to Violet. All right, guys, here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start guessing the number between one and 60. Number between one and 60 for the insulator giveaway. Here we go. Oh, man, they're ripping in so freaking fast. Oh, my gosh. Keep going, guys. Keep guessing. I don't see anybody that's got it yet. Nobody has hit it yet. Keep throwing the numbers out there. Keep going. Keep going. I can't even see it anymore. Ceasefire! Ceasefire! I saw it at least once. I saw it at least once. The wifey's double checking now, guys. The winning number was 54. Steve Joyner is who we think is the first one that got it, guys. Let us know if you saw anything else, but pretty sure, pretty sure Steve got that one. I just showed him. Who? Scott. Yeah. Scott's only got one thing so far. Can I steal this? What? Bob. Yeah. Yep. That goes to Steve Joyner. Nice pickup, brother, man. Good guessing. Good guessing, guys. Timer's back on for the next one. Andrea won. Man, Steve Joyner came in first. Came in first. Okay. The wifey said on our screen, Steve Joyner got it just before Andrea did. So the next timer's rolling, guys, and we're going to go ahead keep the auction going here. So... What do we got? Here's some here's some of the stuff that we had in the Facebook auction that we're gonna go ahead and run. This is a really nice little porcelain porcelain little figurine of a woman or girl reading a book, sitting in a nice ruffled up dress, and it has two little sword anchors there for an emblem. Hey, it's all right, Russ. 
You guys might see it a little bit differently than what we do. We got that one on A, and then B is going to be this real nice, fancy, footed perfume bottle. Blown in mold, tooled cork top. That's going to be B. A and B are both going to be bitter's choice, guys. Here's, here's A. It's going to be a nice six-vein cat eye. Look at those green ones mixed in there. Yellow, white, and almost like a transparent greenish look. And then the perfume bottle looks like it's going to be a peach. Peach four vein cat eye. Bitter's choice on A, bitter's choice on B. Josh, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. We got Andrea at three on B, looking for four or higher on B, and Bitter's Choice on A. And that perfume should glow real nice. Let's go ahead and check it. Oh, yeah, check that out. Real nice green in the UV light. Parts of the figurine light up react to it too i don't know what causes that but there you go a little uv reaction for you a is a dresden piece gary says dresden piece guys dresden pottery on a bitter's choice looking for four or higher on b on the fancy perfume bottle Dresden Pottery, figurine on A, Bitter's Choice, no damage, and the marble. And four higher on number on B, which is a fancy perfume. Teresa's in at three on A. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for four on A, four on B. Mm -hmm, that is a tiny one. Four on A, four on B, guys. I don't have any idea. What's that, babe? What happened to my purse? You still ain't found it? No. Huh. My purse? I freaking seen it. You have that doll head, Russ? Four on A, four on B. Anybody else interested in either of those? Why don't you put up one of those uh... Germans? Do a on not until the scroll's done. I'm not doing another waffle. We've been I mean, holding that. Might take a minute. Yeah, it has taken a minute. Exactly. So we're gonna mm -mm. do that. Russell's in at five on A, looking for six. Six or higher on A. Four or higher on B. We got six on A with Teresa looking for seven. Looking for four or higher on B. We're going to go to the timer on B. 20 seconds to bid on B. Four or higher. Up, oh, Catherine's in at four. We're going to stop the timer right there. Little Loads is in at seven on A. Looking for eight on A. Five on B. Eight on A, five on B. Eight or higher on the Dresden pottery piece on A. Five or higher on the fancy perfume on B. Andrea's in at five on B. Looking for six or higher on B. 
Eight or higher on A, six or higher on B. Teresa's out. We're going to go to the timer on A. 20 seconds to bid. Eight or higher. Sold two little loads. Russ and Tiffany at seven dollars. Nice pickup, guys. There you go. Catherine's in at six on B. Thank you, sister lady. Seven or higher on B. You do? Ooh, nice, honey. Open pawn will coming up, guys. All right, that one, Russell and Tiffany. Here's the next one. What, that yellow whiskey? Yeah. 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. B's still going on, guys. All right, Russ, I will. Seven or higher on B, and then a really nice yellow whiskey lady's leg this is a mariner la postal whatever that means mariner la postal it's got a real nice kick up base it is yellow blown in mold tooled cork top little mini whiskey and this really nice kind of a smoky amberish cream marble from the wifey out on B. All right, we're looking for eight or higher on B. We're going to the timer on B. Eight or higher. Dixie Diggers, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. Look at that marble glow right there on A, guys. And, of course, the perfume glows, too. Sold. B to Andrea at seven. Seven dollars on the fancy perfume marble combo. Looking for 20 on A. 20 on A. Andrea seven. That's Andrea. Looking for a 20 start on A on the beautiful sample whiskey, guys. And B is going to be a flared lip. Look at the really nice flare on that one. Open pawnel. Flared lip, open pawnel, medicine bottle. Really crude. Very, very crude. 1830s, 1840s on that one, guys. Very early Pawnel bottle. And this nice marble from the wifey. White with like an orange streak going through it. That's a pretty one. There you go. What we got on B, honey? 25 on B, 20 on A. 20 start on A, 25 start on B. No damage on either one of those. Two hundred year old bottle on the on the right there, guys. And A is about eighteen nineties. Yeah, I love those flared lips. They are super hard to dig with no damage to paper thin. Brandon, is that for A, buddy? The yellow whiskey? 
I know it's that it is paper thin too. If you were to flick that, guys, with your fingernail, it would break it. All right, Brandon's in at twenty-two on A. Thank you, my brother. Looking for twenty-three or higher on A. Looking for twenty-five on B. Should put a marble on top of A, make it look like a bell. You got a yellow marble, honey? Or a black one? Something dark? Put on top of it? Let me see. I might have one in here. I don't think I have any real dark ones in this batch. got here you go little tiny not quite a peewee but black and silver black and silver look at that oh the one that's there this one here like that Brandon's in at 24 on A, looking for 25 or higher on A. Looking for 25 start on B. I'll tell you what, I'll add a really nice blown and mold tooled cork top to B. This one's got some really nice white. Look at the white striations running through the neck here. Just a beautiful bottle dug by me. We'll add that one to the B combo. 25 start on B. We're looking for 25 or higher on A. All right, we're going to go to the timer on A, looking for 25 or higher on A. 20 seconds to bid. Oh, we got 27 on A with Steve. We're going to go ahead and start, restart the clock on that. 28 or higher on A. Looking for 25 start on B. 28 or higher on A, 25 on B. Twenty-eight on A, twenty-five on B. B25 with one more marble. You got it, brother. Absolutely. How about this cool one here? Not quite round. Yellow and white. Kind of a mix going on. That's a pretty looking marble. There you go. 25 on B. Looking for 26. Violet, this one right here is the main attraction. This is a open panel, what's called a flared lip, 1830s, 1840s. Anytime you see this flared out lip like that design, early, early 1800s, even 1700s, they go back to that one right there, about 1830s, 1840s. And then the med beside it, 1890s to about 1905, both marbles. We're looking for 28 or higher on A. We're looking for 
26 or higher on B. What's the bottom say on A? It says Mariner or Marnier. It says Marnier La Postal. So I think it's a French whiskey or French liquor bottle. French liqueur. Gary's in 26 on B. Thank you, brother man. 27 or higher on B. 28 or higher on A. What's wrong, baby? You all right? What are you looking at? Brandon's out. Thank you, brother. All right, we're going to go back to the timer on A, 28 or higher. Henry, what's up, buddy? Yeah, a little late, but that's all right. Plenty more to bid on. Plenty more to bid on. Steve's in at 30 on B. A is sold. Sold A to 27. 27 to Steve Joyner. And B is still rocking and rolling. B is alert, is currently at 30 with Steve. Looking for 31. Steve Joyner. Got the yellow whiskey. And that was 27. Steve, you got A, buddy. A is yours at 27. We're, we're on B right now, looking for 31 or higher. 31 or higher on B. And then for A, we got this little teeny tiny bottle that I dug. The Borick and Taffel. Borick and Taffel. Look at that little tiny guy. It's got a little teeny tiny flea bite out of the base down there but that's going to be a it's a really tiny medicine bottle you can see it versus the other bottles there and we'll also throw in a sample size caldwell syrup pepsin so you got a little sample caldwell pepsin syrup and the little tiny borick and taffel medicine bottle on A. Gonna grab a marble out. Looking like a four vein white and blue, real pretty. Kind of a banana shape style. And right now we're on 35 at B. Looking for 36 or higher. Let's see if it lights up. Let me find my black light. Uh, right here. Wifey took it. Right there. Ugh. 37 on B, looking for 38. And you can see both bottles do have a light, light green glow. And the marble on top also reacts nice orange glow. So both of those glow and the marbles. And then over here, both of those glow a light green as well. Thirty-eight or higher on B. And A is gonna be a fifteen dollar start. Fifteen dollar start on A. Thirty-eight or higher on B. B's in at 40, A's at 17 with Violet. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 18 or higher on A. Looking for 41 or higher on B. 18 on A. Jake, just ahead of you, brother. Looking for 19 or higher on A. Isabel's leading at 17. Or 18, I mean. 41 or higher on B. Violet's out on B. 
We're going to go to the timer on B, guys. 20 seconds to bid, 41 or higher. Ooh, almost dropped the tape measure on my foot. Jake's in at 20 on A, looking for 21. 21 or higher on A, 41 or higher on B. And sold. B has sold to brother man Steve Joyner. Steve Joyner, brother man on the open panel. The med and two marbles. Very nicely done. Steve, 40. Yeah, those are, those are Steve's. We're currently looking for 21 or higher on A. 21 or higher on A on the Borick and Taffel and the sample Caldwell's Pepsin Syrup. Next up on B, we have a little lot. We have a Penslar perfume bottle, early machine made, cork top, embossed Penslar. Sees it's still afoot. <laughs> yeah. And we have a Logan's Lily Cream for chaps. This one is a blown and mold tooled cork top variant. Two embossed bottles on B. And we're going to throw in this really nice kind of a deep moss green for Vane Cat Eye in with those two. We're looking at 21 on A, Violet back at 23, looking for 24 or higher on A, and B is going to be a bidder's choice, guys. B, we're going to let you guys start that one out. No damage, you got a Penzlar perfume and a Logan's Lily Cream for chaps, and a green cat eye. Twenty-four or higher on A. Bitter's choice on B. We are ripping right along. We got 10 on B with Andrea. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 11 or higher on B. 11 or higher on B. Dustin, what's up, buddy? Dutch Boy Adventures in the house. 24 or higher on A. Penslar, Logan's, and Marble Combo. Okay. Yep, hit that like button, guys, if you would. Catherine's in at 12 on B. Thank you, sister lady. 13 or higher on B. It's a green, right? Yeah, I'd it's say. Unlisted hutch. Yeah, that, that's the one from Fred, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You gonna put that in there? Okay, baby. We got an unlisted hutch variant coming up, guys. 13 or higher on B. 24 or higher on A. We're going to go to the timer on A. Timer on A. 24 or higher. I'll just hold it. Sold A at 23 to Miss Violet. And B is still going strong at 13 with Andrea. Looking for 14. 14 or higher on B. Violet 
Andrea's out on B. Catherine's leading at 14, looking for 15. 15 or higher on B. Okay, and then another A. You just gave me what? This one? Okay. A is going to be a really fancy swirled pattern hip flask. Base embossed universal. Patented February 8th, 1927. Really cool half pint flask there with the pewter lid. Matching pewter lid. It is a smooth lip. Machine made screw top, 1930s. Little hip flask, nice fancy hip flask there. there is a and the wifey's gonna add a marble to go with that, guys. Looking for 15 or higher on B. Here is the marble from the wifey, a nice sky blue and red patch. Pretty marble. What you got on that, babe? Ten dollars start on A. And we're gonna go to the timer on B. Fifteen or higher. Universally drunk. Yep. What in the world? Hold on. Here we go. Right here. We got 10 on A with Gary. Thank you, brother. Looking for 11. 11 or higher. B is sold to Catherine at 14. Catherine at 14 on the double whammy. Nice pickup, sister lady. Looking for 11 or higher on A. The heck was that? Power just shut off. Did you guys power lose it in there too? Wow, the power to everything just shut off for a second. Get you a marble bag going. Andrea is in at 11 on A. Thank you, sister lady. 11 looking for 12. Beautiful. The sunlight would hit through that and it would be so pretty. It is really nice flask. No damage either with the original cat closure. All right, on B. Is this what we're doing on B? How about a green Hutchison, guys? A F Engel out of Lancaster. PA ribbed or mug base with the original lead stopper. Super clean. Does not have any damage at all. Unlisted in green. F Engel out of Lancaster, PA. Green hutch and a real nice light orange, red, and white marble to go with it. There you guys go. 45. B is going to be a $45 start, and we're looking for 12 or higher on A. 12 or higher on A. Yeah, we got that hutch a couple years ago from brother man Fred Ellingson. And we've held on to it for a while. First time it's being offered up. Twelve or higher on A, forty-five start on B. And we're going to add this with the Hutchison. Look at this big old shooter marble. 
J Bo special run. What? Pink and blue. Steve Joyner's at 65 on B. Thank you, brother man. And we're adding that J Bo marble to go with it as well. Looking for 67 or higher on B. Did you take the thing again? I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do. Wild Bill's in at 67. Thank you, brother, man. Looking for 69 or higher. Look at that marble right there. Glow bright like sun orange. Look like the eclipse in a couple of days. And look at the green glow on that Hutchison. Look at that really nice, beautiful UV reaction. Whoops. Steve's out. Wild Bill's leading at 67. Looking for 69 on the green Hutchison and two marbles. Oh, my fault, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is back. Welcome back. Welcome We're going to go to the timer on A. Looking for 12 or higher on A. Sixty nine or higher on B. Sold. I gotta go back. Andrea at eleven. Andrea at eleven on A. Nice pickup. Looking for sixty nine or higher on B, guys. What, baby? Oh my God. Things are so what little things? My and... Oh, Trav, put a box up there and it fell into everything. Here, this is Andrea. Oh, I thought these were Andrea. <laughs> Those are. The stopper. What's that, the pins are and stuff? Those are Catherine's. She's asking about the stopper. Who is? How does the stopper work on B? Oh. It's actually what's called a Hutchison stopper. I can't quite get it out, but it operates on carbonation, basically. That piece in there would have had a gasket on it, kind of. And when you tilted it upside down, it would seal itself. They didn't work the greatest, so it wasn't a design that held very long. But, yeah, that's basically what it was. Just a, a lead stopper, and it would have had a gasket going around it. Steve's at 80. Steve's at 80 on B, guys. Looking for 82. 82 or higher. And that one is super clean as well. Yeah, there's no damage. No all. damage at all. And it doesn't have any, like, smudges or streaks or anything, really. It's beautiful bottle. Oh, uh, Bill's out. Wild Bill's out. Looking for 82 or higher on B. And for A... A, we have a Lydia Pinkham's Vegetable Compound with the H5 on the base of it. This is a blown and mold tooled cork top variation. Doesn't have any damage. That's gonna be A, that's gonna be Bitter's Choice. And we're gonna put in the peach cat eye on B. The name on B is F Engle. F Engle old throw, it's a green one though. 82 or higher on B. We're going to go to the timer. 82 or higher on the green mug base. F. Engel Hutch out of Lancaster. Yeah, I put it up next to... Um, Bitter's Apple. Choice. It is a completely different color. Bitter's Choice on A. 
82 or higher on B. David Jones is in at 5 on A, looking for 6 or higher. Sold! B sold for $80 to Steve Joyner. Nice pickup, my brother, man. Way do you get that in your hands. It's super nice. Really nice pickup, Steve. David Jones is leading 7 on A. Let me zoom out just a little bit here for you. Seven on A, looking for eight. Steve Joyner on that one, Nod. Eight on A with Catherine, looking for nine. Nine or higher on the Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Snakes are awake now. <laughs> Is that right, Steve or uh, Russ? David Jones is out. Nine or higher on A. And then for B. Jimmy B's in at 11 on A, looking for 12. For B, we're going to do a little vial of uranium shards. A little vial of uranium shards. And a little amber chemical bottle. Two little bottles, two little meds. The one is full of uranium shards. And then I'm going to grab another marble out randomly. Oh, this is a pretty one. Real pretty, like a light tangerine yeah, orange. It's lightning out. Mm -hmm. Catherine's in at 12 at A. Looking for 13. We're going to do two marbles with those little combos. This one's got some yellow and green. Little thin, thin cat eyes. There you go. Two marbles, two bottles, and then we're going to go ahead, hit it with the black light. The one on the right has the uranium shards in it. You'll know as soon as I hit it with the black light. Watch this. Look at that. You see that bright green glow in there? Those are the uranium shards in that little vial, that little medicine vial there. And we're going to do a bitter's choice on that lot, B lot, bitter's choice. Catherine's in at 16 on A, looking for 17. 17 or higher on A, bitter's choice on B. Oh, it's a little medicine, little medicine bottle violet, early machine made cork top. Doesn't have any embossing. It dates around 1915, 1920s. Isabel's in at 10 on B. Thank you, sister lady. 11 or higher on B. 17 or higher on A. Cork. Cork top. David Jones is in at 12 on B. Thank you, brother, man. 13 or higher on B. 13 or higher on B. 17 or higher on A. Ooh, I do hear a storm coming now. 17 on B. Bingo, he said. <laughs> 17, looking for 18 or higher on B. We should do bottle bingo one time. That would be fun. If you can figure out how to do it. I love bingo. That would be cool, I think, baby. It's not a bad idea. I think we should try it. I'm going to work on that. 18 bottle or higher bingo. on B. Bottle bingo one Wednesday night. 17 or higher on A. We're going to the timer on A. 17 or higher. Was 
sold. <laughs> Catherine, you got that one at 16, sister lady. Catherine on the blown and mold, Lydia Pinkham's. Nice pick up. There you go. Looking for our violets in at 17 on B. Looking for 18 or higher. 18 or higher on B. All right, guys, next up, here's something from the Facebook auction that didn't sell like that I figured some people would really be interested in. How about a powder horn? I don't know exactly what horn this is, but you can see it's got a hole in it for the sheath or whatever was holding it. Check it out. That's going to be A, a powder horn, powder antler horn. I don't know, baby girl. What's that mean, Steve? Give my pod. <laughs> 18 or higher on B, guys. I'm missing something. And A is going to be a $10 start on A. $10 start on A. And I'm going to throw this really nice green and white swirl marble in with it. I'm going to go to the timer on B. Timer on B, guys. Eighteen or higher on B. Ten on A. Sold to Violet B at 17. B 17 to Miss Violet. Yep. All right, guys, bidder's choice on A. Bidder's choice on A. I need something good for B, honey. Hey, there's a cocoa. Can I put it up there? Okay. Coca-Cola. This is a Pat D. Coca-Cola. From 19... Fifty-two, I believe, from Champaign, Illinois. That's going to be a bidder's choice. And there is giveaway number two. Giveaway number two timer. Hey, the uranium bottle Just with the uranium shards goes to Isabel. Got you. Champaign, Illinois, hobble skirt, Coca-Cola. Bidder's, bidder's choice and the powder horn. Also, bitter choice. Here, we're going to figure out giveaway number two here in a second. We've still got 60 people. There you go. Here's a shooter for each of them. Hey, Jeff, what's up, buddy? Nine hour dig. Oh, man, I hope you killed it. Shooter for each of them? Yep. Shooter for each of them. Look at these beautiful orange marbles. And the wifey's putting one with each item here, guys. 
Ten, or, uh, Bitter's Choice on A and B. Bitter's Choice on the Powder Horn. Bitter's Choice on the Champagne, Illinois, Hobble Skirt, Coca-Cola, and Shooter Marble. We dropped it to 200. I know, and that's ridiculously low already. Doesn't matter the color on that's insanity. Oh, here's this green cup. I'm just telling you. No. Wild Bill's in it four on A. Thank you, brother. Here's this bottle. Four on B as well. Four on A, four on B. B is 1957 or 52 is the date code on it. 52. This. Looking for five or higher on A, five or higher on B. Go ahead and get me a number between one and 60. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing next is the giveaway. Here you go. There's the giveaway. Okay. Wild Bill, or David's in at five on B and A. Wild Bill's back at six on A, looking for seven. Seven on A, six on B. B. Seven on A, six on B. As soon as we clear the floor, we'll do the giveaway, guys. Seven or higher on A on the powder horn. Two marbles to go with it. Mm -hmm. Six or higher on B on the Champagne Illinois Coca-Cola with a nice shooter marble to go with it. David's out on A. We're going to go to the timer on A. Seven or higher. Six or higher on B. Seven on A, six on B. Sold to Wild Bill. Six dollars to you, my brother, on A. Very nice pickup. Put the horn in the giveaway. Oh, okay, buddy. Thank you. So the horn's going in the giveaway, guys. I know. And we're looking for six or higher on B. Six or higher on B. We're going to go to the timer on B as well. 20 seconds on B. Robert, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. We are rolling tonight. We've been through 23 already. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sold. B has sold to David Jones. David Jones, my brother, you got B. And that sweet shooter. Downstairs playing. It is? Yes. You got the uranium stuff. Violet, right? Mm -hmm. But the uranium shards are going to Isabelle. And how much did she get it for? <laughs> you don't remember? Hold on. That's five on the Coke. The horn was Wild Bill. How much? 17, I think. 17. And then the horn was 
seven. And then he's donating the horn back for the giveaway, guys. So we're putting the horn. That's part of the giveaway. And this nice blown and mold tooled cork top medicine bottle as well. It's going to be part of the giveaway that we were originally going to do. So both of those. Now I'll grab a random marble too. Looks like a yellow cat eye. Hey, yellow Robert. cat eye. There we go. So this is going to be giveaway number two, guys. Let me get David Jones's marble bag going here. And then we'll kick off giveaway number two. Okay, baby girl. Like a virgin. What do we got in there? What, oh. honey? This is for David Jones. Make sure that marble that's on there goes to him, please. All right, I got the number, guys. I'm putting it behind the paper back here. We're going to guess a number between 1 and 60 in 5, 4, Three, two, one. Everybody start guessing. Number, Number between two. one and 60. Here we go for the horn and the med and... Oh, my gosh. Good God. Ceasefire. Ceasefire. What in the world? What was that? What was that? <laughs> 27. Scott brother was dialed into the wifey's mind on that one, guys. First one was 27. Golly, just ahead of you, David. Scott ended up getting that one. You gotta show the number. I did. Uh -oh, I missed 27. That. Smashed it right off the bat. First number out the gate. That was quick. Showing him how it's done. He was like reading my mind or something. Nice, Scott. And David, you was right he there on his heels, mind. buddy. Great our loves. <laughs> Steve Jordan, are you still in the room? All right, guys. Didn't even get to bid, Catherine. I know they was they was on that one. Check this out, guys. How about a teal cod? Incredible teal cod. It's got some green, real nice deep green streaks. And it is embossed, but it's all peened out. So I cannot see what it says, unfortunately. But that's a beautiful cod right there. Check it out. That's going to be A, the teal cod. Um, with a marble. Let me get you a marble. And B is going to be a apple green Dr. Townsend's sarsaparilla, guys, with a nice carbon trapped in it. No damage, blown in mold, tooled cork top. It's got a really neat pinch mark in the base of it there from Albany, New York. Look at that bad boy. That's going to be B. Two marbles. That's my heavy of the night right there. What are you putting those with? One with each. All right, with the cod, we're going to add this kind of a aqua green, orange, and blue marble. And with the Townsends, we have this real pretty orange, purple, yellow, and white. There you guys go. Huh? 20 on A, and we'll do 175 on B. That's as low as I'm going to go on that. 20 on A, 175 on B. No damage on either one of them.
20 start on A on the teal card. That one is 1880s, 1890s. And the sarsaparilla, also 1880s, 1890s. Dr. Townsend's in an apple green. Twenty start on A, one seventy five start on B. We also have an open panel scroll flask waffle going on, guys. Let me know if you have not seen that and you'd like a slot or two. Twenty on A. Violet's in at twenty on A. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 21 or higher on A. Looking for a 175 start on B. Should do a marvel lot, baby. Hmm? Should do a marvel lot. Coming up. Okay. How about that blue ink? What are you starting it at? 35. All right. Anybody interested in the apple green? Dr. Townsend Sarsaparilla. 175 start on B. 21 or higher on A. Oh, yeah, Gary's in. Yeah, Gary's in. I forgot. All right, we're going to pull the sarsaparilla. And we're going to add a little ink. We're going to add a beautiful, deep cobalt with green streaks all through it. Sheared lip, cathedral style inkwell. Got three dots on the base of it there. We're going to leave that marble with it, and we're going to add this sky blue and white marble with it as well. That's B. We're going to go to the timer on A, 21 or higher on A, and 35 start on B. 35 start on B. Sold to Violet at $20. A on 20. You. Guys, you had the giveaway out here. And the teal card now. You got the giveaway sitting here in the teal card. Looking for a 35 start on B. That's your first card? Oh, nice, Vi. That's a pretty one, too. That's a pretty one. 35 on the cobalt ink. Guys, what in the world? Calm down a little bit. Those are the cards I was looking for. Thirty-five start on B. Giveaway went to Scott Violet. Something is fishy. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now A, we're gonna do a little extract. Combo. This is a Sours extract with a little bit of the extract I in know, it. I know, Gary. It's like a $400 flask. This is a 
Imitation rum flavor. It has partial label from Richmond, Virginia. So we got the sour's extract. So about 354 maybe. We have a slick druggist bottle. 40 cc. I've had that from, for probably six years now. We have the Bayer Company we're going to add in there. Nice Bayer aspirin bottle. And we're also going to add a Hires Household Extracts for root beer. So you got four, four little extract slash med bottles there. One of them being partial label and contents. Got a real pretty kind of a blood and aqua mix cat eye. Look at the colors in that one. We're going to add that one to the group there. That's going to be a bidder's choice on A. 35 start on B. I guess because we don't gossip about everybody, so they don't, don't come in anymore. 35 start on B. Bidder's choice on A. Trying to make it to 25. We're at 13 on A and 11 on B right now. A couple of them have been passed. We've sold a total of 24 with the double auction going. I'm trying to get to 50 total. We might. We might make it to 50. 35 start on B. Bidder's choice on A, guys. So, A, to be exact, you get all four of those bottles and the marble. B is the really nice cobalt sheared lip inkwell and two marbles. David Jones is in at five on A. Thank you, brother, man. Five, looking for six on A and 35 start on B. Tell me to put, oh, I'm trying to find a marble. Tell me to put this marble with we're gonna add a really nice cub scout marble to b guys real nice cub scout marble to b there you go scott's in at six on a looking for seven seven or higher on a David Jones is in at eight on A, looking for nine. They the marbles. Nine or higher on A. Still looking for a 35 start on B. And we're going to glow, pause, and do a little glow show here. The ink glows green. The marble on top of it glows like a green and blue mix. The Sours Extract glows green. And that's it. None of the marbles do, except for the one on top of the ink. Um, I'm not sure. Can I see? grab his light for me? Nine or higher on A. 35 start on B. How about I'll add a medium cobalt bromo seltzer to B. We'll do a double combo on that too. Scott is out. Thank you, brother man. Nine or higher on A. 35 start on B. Gary says 30 on B. I'll start for 30. We'll do 30 on B, Gary. Yes, sir. Gary's in at 30 on B, looking for 31 or higher. Going to the timer on A, looking for 9 or higher. Here we go.
sold a to David Jones for $8. Nice pickup, brother man. So David got all four of these bottles. And we're at Cindy at 31. Cindy from Canada. Good to have you tonight, sister lady. 32 or higher on B. 32 or higher on B. Gary's in at 33 on B. Appreciate you, brother. 34 or higher. 34 or higher on B. And then A is going to be this vintage picture. And it has initials in it. It's actually upside down. Hold on. It's upside down. Let me flip it around here. Here we go. So it has initials on the top of it that say M-E-C, I believe. I don't know, guys, but there you go. I don't know exactly how old that picture is. It's black and white. It's got a nice little frame around it. And we're going to do a bidder's choice on that. Bidder's choice on A. Cindy's in at 34 on B. Gary's back at 35. Looking for 36 or higher. Instant ancestors. 36 or higher on B. And we're going to do a bidder's choice on A. Cindy's in at 36 on B. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 37 or higher. And bidder's choice on A. And I'm also going to include this kind of wonky four-vein cat eye marble. It's not even round all the way. Look at that. <laughs> she looks familiar. Do you know what those initials are, Gary, by chance? Creeps you out, Scott? <laughs> 37 or higher on B. Bitter's choice on A. I know. Violet says your wife in a past life, Gary. <laughs> Love those glasses, Gary says. Guess I'm part of it. Nope. He said nope. Gary's in at 37 on B. Looking for 38 or higher. We're going to go ahead and pull the photo and swap it out with. These two shakers that I dug. Two shakers, and one actually has the lid still intact. Check it out. Two shakers and the marbles, and we'll do a bidder's choice on those as well. Bidder's choice on A. Reminds you of a nun wanting to beat with a ruler. <laughs> Dang, Scott. Violet's in at seven on A. We're going to the timer on B. Timer on B right here, 38 or higher. What is on David All these right here. Sold! 
Gary Lindblad, brother man. You got the ink, the bromo, and three marble combo. Very nice pickup, brother. Gary at 37. That was the cobalt ink. Bromo. Three marbles. Gary. 37. She needs a dentist. This was <laughs> David Jones. Six. Now we have two shakers and marble. Okay, so these are Gary's. We're looking for eight or higher on A. Eight or higher on A. Ooh, nice. Where's my stand? Where's my frog? Well, I'm getting messed up now. Okay, B is going to be a marble lot, guys. B is going to be a marble lot. So I'm going to set my frog up here. How many did you say it was, baby? 13 regular and one shooter. 13 regular and one shooter is going to be on B. The shooter is a four-vein yellow cat eye. It does, does have some play wear marks on it. And here are the marbles. This one is a green, white, orange, and red. Beautiful patch marble, wet mint. Then we have a really nice, I think this is a cornelian, red and white, little tiny bit of orange mixed in. Yellow, white, okay, and blue. Right after the marble lot and the shakers, we'll do the uh, waffle again. A peach, four vein. Clear and white. Just a really beautiful brown Bennington. Brown Bennington marble. Turn my light back down here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Here you go. Brown Benny. Real pretty, kind of a pink and red mix. Looks edible. Here's kind of a deep, kind of a green frog-like look. Green and black. Beautiful marble. Here's another really nice one. Maybe a little bit of ox blood in this particular one. Red. Little bit of gray and white mix. Straight peach. A little bit of gray and blue mix. Beautiful blue on white swirl design there. Another real pretty kind of a mustard on, on black. And then one more blue, yellow, and a little streak of orange. There you guys go. First thing we're going to do is go to the clock timer on A. Looking for eight or higher on A on the shaker combo. Going to the timer on that. Eight or higher. On A. Sold. 
to Violet at $7. $7 on the shakers. Nice pickup, sister lady. And then we'll go over here to B. Get a little better of a zoom going. And then the wifey says to glow that. So give me a second. Come on, baby. Hello, those beautiful beans. There you guys go. We got some reds and oranges and greens and yellows. Real nice glowers in the bunch there, you can see. There's no spinner tonight. I know, but it's on What's the start on that? Bitter's Choice. Bitter's Choice, guys, on B. Bitter's Choice on B. Y'all don't usually do me wrong on it, so. And let's see, we get something going for A. Now we're not on the waffle. Oh, yeah, we are doing the waffle. Yeah. B at 11 with Violet, looking for 12. 12 or higher. Wild Bill's in at 12, looking for 13. 13 or higher. And that was how many marbles? 14, honey? 14 total. Teresa's in at 14, looking for 15. Wild Bill's in at 15, looking for 16. Where's my envelope with the waffle on it? We should walk 10 10. 15 looking for 16 on B. For those of you that are interested in the waffle, here is the bottle that we're waffling tonight. Open panel, half pint, scroll flask. A beautiful scroll flask. Comparatively scarce in the Hutch or in the Hutch book. McKeeran book. Teresa's in at 20. Bill's back at 21. Looking for 22 or higher. 22 or higher. I believe it is G-I-X-37. Josh, number two's already been taken, brother. The remaining slots are 1, 4, 5, 6, and 9 through 20. 22 or higher on B, and we're doing a waffle format on A. $20 slots. Josh, that's number one. You got it. Number one is yours. So now we have four, five, and six, and nine through 20 left. And we're looking for 22 or higher on B on the 14 marble lot. Teresa is out. Thank you, sister lady. Violet's in at 24 on B, looking for 25. 25 or higher on B. And let me know if there's any slots that you guys want on the scroll flask. Teresa, on the scroll flask, you have number two right now. You have number two slot. Wild Bill's in at 25. Thank you, brother man. 26 or higher on B. If you want a slot on the on the scroll flask, we have four, five, and six, and nine through twenty available. Mark eight, mark nineteen and twenty off. So we'll do do eighteen. Okay. 
We're going to mark 19 and 20 off, guys. So we're only going to do 18 slots on this. Try to get as many sold as we can. So 4, 5, and 6, and 9 through 18 are what's available. 12 slots. 12 slots left on the open panel scroll flask. 26 or higher on the marble lot. Violet's in at 27 on B, looking for 28. 28 or higher. I'll do them as a regular sale. I'm not starting another waffle. Okay. Wild Bill's out. Thank you, brother. 28 or higher on B. We're going to go to the timer. 28 or higher. Sold to Violet at 27. 27 on the marble combo. Nice pickup, sister lady. Now we'll focus our attention on the waffle currently, guys. See if we can't get a couple more slots sold on that. They're $20 each. There's nine slots, or I'm sorry, 12 slots available. Send Teresa the red, green marble, and the blue and the yellow marble. Red and green. And blue and yellow. Which one's red and green? This one? This the one you're talking about? The red and green one, Vi? And the blue and yellow, I guess, would be this one here. Yes. To Teresa. All right. Oh, the cat eye. Okay, all right. I got you. Cat eye blue. This one right here. Blue and yellow. To Teresa. Okay, got you. Mark that down for Teresa here, and then put the rest in your bag. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Turn that light back on, please. Anybody like another slot or two on the scroll flask, open panel scroll flask? There's 12 slots available. They're $20 each. Remaining slot numbers are 4, 5, and 6, and 9 through 18. And that one was violet on the marbles at 27. Okay. Not seeing any other takers on the scroll on the waffle right now, so we're just going to keep going on the regular auction, guys. Next up, we have some tassels. I believe these are military tassels. As soon as I can figure out how to zoom out now. There we go. Check these out. We'll do that for A. We got those ones, and we have 
some red ones. If anybody wants to help out as to what they were awarded for, the bolos or whatever they are, that's going to be A. And we have a couple medals, too, to go with that. We have a little eagle, little eagle medal. We have a E, little E pin. And we have a number three. So there you go, eagle E3 maybe. That's going to be A. That's going to be Bitter's Choice on A. And then B is going to be a Latticino, Ger German Latticino core. German Latticino core marble. Orange, green, and blue swirl. Look at that big nub of glass on there, too. B, German Latticino Core Marble. That's 25 start and bidder's choice on A. And I got to get my phone plugged in. It's going to die on me. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to get my battery holder open on my case. Just give me a second here. One second here, guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Earthquake. B's a 25 start, Josh. 25 start on the German Latticino core marble. Bitter's Choice on A. 25 with Poofy on B. Thank you, Sister Lady. Looking for 26. 26 or higher on B and Bitter's Choice on A. Bitter's choice on A, 26 or higher on B. Anybody interested in that stuff there? We got 27 on B with Violet, looking for 28. 28 or higher on the 1870s, 1880s, German Latticino core marble. Wild Bill's in at 28. Thank you, brother man. 29 or higher. And A is still open bid. Twenty nine or higher on B. Hey, that other box of bottles in the kitchen, can you guys get that for me? We're going to go ahead and pull A out of there. We're looking for 29 or higher on B. Twenty nine or higher on B. And then for A, we're going to do this ashtray. 
Wayne actually dug the ashtray and gave it to me. It's got a little corner missing off of it. And I have filled it full of glass stoppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight glass stoppers in there as well. So that'll be A. Ashtray full of glass stoppers. Oh, that one didn't get cleaned? Yeah, that's the one. It's got my cobalt hospital in it and stuff. And the amber, or the clears. Shoot. Yeah, that's the one, but it's not clean yet, so don't worry about it. Have you tried about the stuff in there? I haven't looked in here yet, no. There's some stuff in here. Let's see what's in here. 29 or higher on B, guys. We're going to go to the timer on B. I'm just going to hold it. 20 seconds. And A is going to be bidder's choice. You guys decide on that. A is bidder's choice. Sold to Wild Bill at 28. 28 on the German Latticino. Can I see if anything lights up on A? Absolutely. Violet's in at 14 on A, looking for 15. Wild Bill on the German Latticino. Nice pickup, brother. Can you put another one up, babe? Put the other big one up. 25 again. Okay, guys, the other B is going to be a shooter, German Latticino. Look at that one. And it's a colored core, too, with the white vortexes going around it. There's your pawnal mark. Only has one little teeny tiny flea bite right there. Full of full of seed bubbles. That's going to be a 30 start on B. We're looking for 15 or higher on A. And I'm going to go ahead and put the black light on it. What happened to the black light? Did you guys get it again? Uh oh. Yeah. Poofy's at 30 on B. There are a few of the of the stoppers that light up. That one, that fancy one, lights up real nice and green. You can see there. And then a couple of them have a lighter glow to it. And then the German marble also lights up green. Yeah, there's a couple of them in there that react. Poopy's in 32 at B. Looking for 33 on B. Looking for 15 or higher on A. Josh is in at 33 on B. Thank you, brother man. Looking for 34 or higher on B. Andrea is in at 15 on A. Looking for 16 on A. 34 on B. Wild Bill's in at 35 on B. Looking for 36. 16 on A. 36 on B. Scott, those are the older handmade German marbles. They're a lot more valuable than the machine-made ones, brother. Josh is in at 36 on B, looking for 37. 37 or higher. Hey, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime. Thirty-seven or higher on B. 
16 or higher on A. We got Wild Bill at 37 on B, looking for 38. We're going to the timer on A, 16 or higher on the ashtray full of stoppers. Oh, we got 17 on A. We're going to keep on rolling with it. Looking for 18. 18 or higher on A, 38 or higher on B. Your head is spinning. Your head, you don't have to keep up with it. I do. <laughs> oh, we're rolling, buddy. We have sold 31 tonight. Heck yeah, guys. 31 items tonight, not including the two on the table going right now. Just allows, it allows a lot more people to bid on stuff. I like it. I like the format. It is much tougher to keep track of. You definitely have to stay focused on what's going on. 18 or higher on A, 38 or higher on B. We're going back to the timer on A, 18 or higher. Josh is out on B. Thank you, brother. 38 or higher on B. Sold! You guys like that? Yeah, nice. Violet at 17 on the ashtray full of stoppers. And we're looking for 38 or higher on B on the German Latticino core marble. Thirty-eight or higher on B, anybody? All right, we're going to the timer on B as well. Twenty seconds, thirty-eight or higher. You're going to bring back the zero, Josh. <laughs> Here it comes, five, four, three, two, one, zero, sold. <laughs> sold to Wild Bill at 37. Nice pickup, brother, man. That's a sweet one right there, Billy. Billy Bob. Violet got the ashtray. Seventeen. What did you just get? Nice. Wild Bill got the German marble. I got that. I put that in his bag. The only thing that's missing is my spooky voices. Yeah, and I, I know Gary. I'm just trying to get caught up from. Definitely from the Facebook bomb auction. That was that was bad. And the wife wanted to play music in the background. And then they ended up deleting the entire thing. So we know not to do that anymore. But next up, guys, on A, we have a really nice pair of bowls that I dug from the hospital dump with the pink transfer wear logo. And these both say Puerto Rico, USA. One's got an E2, one's got a D2, so I'm thinking that might have been the rooms they were in. But we're going to do a pair of them on A, Bitter's Choice. Okay. And B is going to be the... Nutri Nutri glass. Nutri glass. This is an IV bottle, you can see. 
you'd stick your needle down through there into your solution. So we're going to put that one in there. Um, what else do we have? We're going to add a Pompeian massage cream. This is a semi-automatic machine made. So you got that. You got the IV bottle. And we'll add this real fancy perfume bottle as well with the topper. There you go. All three of those are going to be on B, and that's also going to be a bitter's choice. Bitter's choice item. And then a yellow gamer marble. A little bit of white swirl in there. And then with the bowls, we'll do this one right here. Little tiny, tiny six vein cat eye. White, red, and blue in there. There you go. Bitter's choice on A. We got nine on A. Ten. Looking for ten or higher. Ten or higher on A. We got ten on B. Appreciate you, Scott. Looking for 10 on A, 11 on B. Twelve on B, looking for 13. 10 on A, 13 on B. Scott, 13 on B, looking for 14. Looking for 10 on A, 14 on B. Ten on A, fourteen on B. These are all dug items from the hospital dump. Fifteen or fourteen on B with is fifteen back with Scott. Looking for sixteen on B. Ten or higher on A. Can you grab me another soda? By chance here. Let me give you these. I think this one's no good. I don't know how long it's been there. 16 or higher on B, 10 or higher on A. Yeah, Dr. Pepper time, Gary, brother, absolutely. Yes, sir. We're going to the timer on A, guys. 10 or higher. Sold to Violet at nine dollars. Nine on the transferware bowls. Violet. Cheers to you guys. Happy Easter. Sixteen on the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> the Crick Digger signature Dr. Pepper. Looking for 16 or higher on B. 16 or higher on B. And then for A, for A, we're going to do a little soda combo. We're going to do a knee high out of Cumberland, Maryland. Pour some on the floor for the homies. <laughs> We're going to do a whistle, whistle soda out of Birmingham, Alabama. And we're going to do a little frosted grape soda, a little frosted grape drink there. Three sodas, one money.
and we're looking for 16 or higher on B. We're going to do a $10 start on A. $10 start on A. And looks like yellow is the color of choice tonight. Three vein yellow cat eye. 10 on A. 16 on B. We're going to go to the timer on B. 16 or higher. Jake's in at 10 on A. Thank you, brother. Looking for 11. 11 on A, 16 on B. Sold! B sold for $15 to Brother Man Scott. Scott, nice pickup. One, two, three for Scott. Looking for 11 or higher on A. 11 or higher on A. Great, Scott. <laughs> That's awesome. And here we go, guys. This is going to be B. This is going to be a large hospital bottle. I've only dug one of these. It's got the Pharmaceutical Laboratory Shield monogram on the base. You can see it's a very light, light aqua, clear aqua. Doesn't have any damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't say hospital, but with that monogram, I'm very confident that it is a hospital. So we're going to sell it as such. And that one's going to be an $8 start. $8 start, and we're going to throw in this kind of a deep red swirl on a white base coat. There we go. $8 start on the large hospital bottle. Nice, Scott. Yeah, those are tough to find too, those little IV bottles. Looking for 11 or higher on the soda run. Knee high from Cumberland, whistle from Birmingham, and a grape soda. Anybody else interested in the soda run? 11 or higher. All three, one money. All right, we're going to go to the timer on A, guys. 11 or higher. Here we go. 20 seconds. Sold to my brother, man, Jake, for $10. $10 pickup, Jake. How about it, buddy? Three sodas coming your way, my man. Excellent score. <laughs> Almost done. Three sodas and a marble goes to Schwarty. Garage at ten. Schwarty's garage. Yes. 
got 15 on those. Yeah, that's exactly right. Those 90% or 95% of those knee highs are from Columbus, Georgia. All right, nobody interested in the large hospital bottle? We're going to pull that one. Let's see what I got left hiding for tonight, guys. We're about done. We're about done here. I got this little dish if anybody's interested in it. I think it was like maybe like a little dog bowl or cat bowl that they had a pet in the hospital maybe. It's got a gorgeous rainbow sheen to it. It does have a little chip there, but that's going to be A. And we'll throw in this nice honey amber little medicine bottle with it. We'll throw that in there with it. That's going to be A. We'll just move that marble over to there that's going to be a bitter's choice and b is another insulator that i dug this is a thomas thomas insulator you can see milk glass porcelain milk glass and that is out of massillion ohio i did some research on that when i thought maybe it was a west virginia insulator but it turns out it's massillion ohio and we'll do a bitter's choice on that one as well. So bitter's choice on A and bitter's choice on B. And the marble for B is a beautiful six vein cat eye orange, white, and a little bit of amber in there. Nice mix. There you guys go. Bitter's choice on A, bitter's choice on B. Any beer bottles? Yes, sir. I'll put up a real nice beer bottle for you next, Jimmy. Violet's in at seven on A. Oh, porcelain, not milk glass. My fault. White porcelain, then. White porcelain Thomas debossed insulator. We got seven on A, looking for eight, and we're open on B currently. Bitter's choice on B. Gee, Lassie, good to have you tonight, sister lady. We got five with Jake on B. Thank you, brother. Looking for six. Looking for six or higher on B. Looking for eight or higher on A. You been watching? Insulator is debossed. Yep, debossed. Debossed with Thomas. Andrea is in at six on B, looking for seven. Looking for seven on A, looking for seven on B. Or eight, I'm sorry. Eight on A, seven on B. Eight or higher on A, seven or higher on B. And this will put us at 36 for the night. You guys want to do like a big builder lot to finish us off? You're the one that said you wanted to. I said like halfway through. <laughs> halfway, then you would add like 60 some by now. Gary said, yep, it's the boss insulator, the boss insulator. That's a cool one. I just found that one last week out exploring an old abandoned railroad line with my buddy JC. Found a neat tunnel about 20 feet down under the ground. But unfortunately, they had put so much fill over everything. The railroad ties and stuff that they cut down, the poles, they're all deep underground. You're too sleepy, Violet? All right. Maybe next Saturday we'll do a builder lot then. 
Let's try to get a couple more anyway, guys. Let's go to the timer on A. Going to the timer on A. On the dog dish. And the little med. What the heck did I do with my clock? Oh, here it is. Timer on A. What is it? What, the labeled Cumberland ink? You want to go get it for me out of my display in the hallway? Yeah. I didn't know anybody was interested in that one tonight. Labeled Cumberland ink coming up, guys. Sold A to Violet for $7. Seven dollars on A. Nice pickup, sister lady. Labeled Cumberland Ink coming up, guys. One of a kind. One, start builder at 3 a.m. and end at 8 p.m. <laughs> Maybe if it wasn't Easter. Okay, that was Violet at 7 and... B, guys, on the insulator, we're looking for seven or higher. Seven or higher on the insulator. We're going to the timer on the insulator as well. Seven or higher. The two times you're awake. Up, oh, Robert's in at eight on the insulator. We're still going on that. Looking for nine or higher on the Thomas insulator. Looking for nine or higher, Jake, on that one, buddy. And then A, guys, look at this. Extremely rare right here. Matter of fact, only one known. Only one known to exist. Jet Black Ink, John A. Fulton and Company, Cumberland, Maryland. Has a has the original ink, cork, everything still inside of it. The only known labeled cone ink from Cumberland, Maryland, right there, guys. John A. Fulton. That one is going to be a $75 start. $75 on the Cumberland labeled cone ink. And we are up to $12 on the insulator. Looking for $13 or higher on the insulator on B. $75 start on A. I'm going to put one of my widows in that one. Violet, I've had that one for a couple years. It actually came out of a basement in a toolbox. And we'll put a Widow marble in with it. That's an extremely rare ink. Robert's in at 13 on B. Looking for 14. 14 or higher on B. 75 start on A. Yeah, I've got some rare, rare meds, guys, a lot of which I've never showed anybody, so I don't know. I like to be secretive. <laughs> I have some killer bottles. 15 or higher on B. Violet's in at 77 on A. 77 on A. Josh is in at 80. Looking for 82. 82 or higher on the labeled Cumberland, Maryland Cone Ink. And we are at 15 on the insulator. 82 or higher on A. We got 15 with Robert. Looking for 16 on B. 16 on B with Jake. Looking for 17. 82 or higher on the labeled Cone Ink. 17 or higher on the insulator. I think we're going to stop right here, guys. <clears throat> I think this is going to be the finale, and then we'll do the final giveaway as well. Robert's in at 17, looking for 18. What time is it? 
That's all it is. It's ten o'clock. A little after ten o'clock. We might do a couple more then. If that's all the later it is. We got Jake in at 18 on B, looking for 19. 19 or higher on B. 82 or higher on the labeled Cone Inc. From Cumberland, Maryland. John A. Fulton and Company. Only one known. It's 11 o'clock there, Violet. Is it 11 here? You look at the time tennis. wrong? My phone says 10 and 6. Huh. Violet's in at 84 on A. Thank you, sister lady. 86 or higher. And we're going to go to the timer on the insulator. Timer on the insulator. Somehow it jumped up to 30 seconds, but we're going to just let it go with that. 19 or higher. 19 or higher on B. 86 or higher on A. And there is the giveaway timer, just in the nick of time. Heck yeah. Giveaway number three we'll do right after this, guys. And then we might be done. We'll see what everybody wants to do. Sold B to Jake Swarty, brother man. $18. Nice pickup, Jake, on the Thomas Insulator. Swarty's Garage, 18 on that. Looking for 86 or higher on the labeled coning. Josh is in at 90. Looking for 92. 92 or higher. This is a tough one, guys. This is the only one known to exist. So whoever gets it will have the only one known to exist. 92 or higher. Cumberland, Maryland, labeled Cone Inc. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Oh, Tony's been going to all the uh, car shows. It's car season now, show season. So he's been out detailing, going to all the cruises. I think he took Best of Show in the last one he was just in. I just saw a post of his on that. So, yeah, he's out car cruising. Shake and bake with Jake. Yeah. That ink is crazy. Yes, it is. Let me zoom in on that for you guys real quick. Look at that bad boy. 93 with Violet. Looking for 95 or higher. 95 or higher. Ebonized Jet Black Ink. John A. Fulton and Company. Cumberland, Maryland. And one of my widow marbles to go with it. Look at that thing, guys. 95 or higher on A. Josh says 100. 100 on the cone, labeled cone ink. Remember, $5 increments after 100, guys. Looking for 105 or higher. 105 or higher. This is going to do it. We'll do the giveaway after this, and then we're going to call it a night. I'm going to make it a sweet giveaway, too, for all of you that stuck it out with us tonight. 
This will put us at 37 sales for the night. That's excellent. And not a super long time either. That's good. I like that. 105. Mike, what's up, buddy? Violet's in at 107. Looking for 113 or 112. 112 or higher. This is going to be the giveaway. Little jar of marbles. I can't give you my phone charger. My phone just died. You're doing me happy with the giveaway. But mine is on less than 20%. I just plugged it in. When it comes to the giveaway, I'll give it to you, I guess. I, my phone is off, babe. I gotta get it. All right. Here, you can try. I don't know how long mine's gonna hold. It, auction's almost over, so it should hold up that long. Well, we're still on the ink right now, baby. We're looking for 112 or higher. Yeah, the auction up. 112 or higher on the labeled Cumberland, Maryland Cone Inkwell. No damage with the contents and original label. Oh, beer bottle. Jimmy, I'll put up a beer bottle for you, brother. Hold on a second. That's a killer beer bottle. Beer bottle for Jimmy. Here we go, guys. For B, this is the last one of the night. Ladies' leg, applied top. Amber beer bottle. This is from the HG company. I'm not sure exactly what the glass company is on that, but there she is, buddy. No damage at all. That thing is killer. It almost has like a like a sand tumble kind of thing, like it was found in a dive, maybe. But that's a beautiful beer right there, Jimmy. I'll do a ten dollar start on that one for you. I put ten dollars on that here. $10 start on the 1880s beer, and we'll put in a cockatiel marble with it. There you go. So 10 on B, 112 or higher on A. You can see it. All right, we got Jimmy at 10 on B. Josh is in at 20 on B. We're going to go to the timer on A, guys. 112 or higher. 112 or higher. Here we go. Josh is in at 35 on B, looking for 36. Beer. That is I know, that's a nice one. What is HG Company? Is that Heming Gray Glass Company? What it Josh must know something we don't. Sold the Koenig, sold to Violet at 107. Or I'm you, 109, I mean. I my, 109. Be very careful. Don't put any tape on that label or anything. 107? Sorry. 107 to Violet, and we're going to end on the beer, that guys. Beer, like, unlike anything I have seen, seen before. Jimmy B's in at 38 on the applied top beer. Looking for 39. Looking for 39. Okay. Josh says yes. It is Heming Gray. Heming Gray Glass Company beer bottle, guys. How's that for a nice ending to the night auction? 39 or higher. You need to... Um Make sure. Uh, Let me get a marble to go with that, too. Oh, it's already got one. Never mind. Rap. Josh is in at 50. Yep, a hometown ink. Josh is in at 50. Remember, $2 increments after 50, guys. Looking for 52 beer. or higher. I could tell just by look at it. Look at it. You, I've never seen a beer that looks like Heming that. Hemingway Glass Company beer. What in the world? 52 or higher. If I'd have had my way, it wouldn't have left this house. She was trying to keep it. I was really <laughs> trying to keep it. I just like the way it looks. Oh, heck no, Scott. Labeled inks, buddy. That's tough. That's the only one known from Cumberland, too. 
Yeah, he's had that ink for a while. I have had that one for a couple years. A lot of those bottles, yes, you guys will see probably in future museum displays. 52 or higher on the applied top, Hemingway Glass Company beer. 1880s, no damage. Jimmy B, you interested in a slot on the scroll flask waffle? Happy Easter, Pam! All right, we're going to the timer, guys. Going to the timer. 52 or higher. Hemingway Glass Company beer. Here we go. Pam, happy Easter, sister lady. Have a great rest of your weekend. Happy Easter to every single one of you. Thank you for participating in tonight's auction. We'll be doing more format like this in the future. Oh, I love that style. That is beautiful. I'd like Here to we go. Zero! Josh Dondorf! Congratulations, buddy. You got that one for 50. Very nice pickup. All right, Josh. Inquiring minds want to know how much is that bottle worth? You got to tell me. I got a really killer nice strawberry blanket. Yep, may the big bunny be good to everyone. We're going to do the final giveaway, guys. Let us know, Josh. What's it worth? Final giveaway is this Medford prepared mustard jar that I dug. I put an atlas lid on it, and I filled it with some cat eye marbles. About 20 in there. Those are my new old stock lids. They're not. You got off my jar. No, I didn't. We got 50 people. 120 bucks, he said. Nice, Josh. Great Good pickup, job, brother. Josh. Medford mustard jar with the lid I just dug in the last video and I filled it up full of marbles for you guys. Well, not full, but about 30. About 30 marbles. We got 50 people in the room, so we're going to do a number between 1 and 50 to finish off. And then we are done for the night. Let's see, we're going to do. Can you please stop? That'll give us time to get the kids into bed and get set up for tomorrow. Um, Happy Easter, G Lass. You definitely are going to bed, or you're going to wake up to nothing. That is true. You'll still wake up to nothing. <clears throat> Hand me that, Travis. Get that off your ear. Oh, wait, no. okay, okay, guys, I got the final number in my hand. Putting it behind A. And we're going to guess the number between 1 and 50. Here we go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everybody start guessing. Go ahead. Number between 1 and 50. Here we go. Who is going to be the winner? Giveaway number three tonight. Numbers are ripping in like crazy. You got it? Ceasefire! Ceasefire! We have a winner! Yep, number 39 was the winner. So the first one to get 39 was...
Swarty's Garage, my brother, man, Jake. 39, baby. Jake, Jake with the mustard jar and the marbles. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice, Jake. You're a lucky little fella. Not, I don't know if you're little or not, but. <laughs> no, he's a big, he's a pretty big boy. You're a lucky guy. Jake was stay firm. <laughs> <laughs> We had an old customer that I was up talking to her on the phone like for hours one night and her husband came out and it was like I'm gonna say five in the clock in the morning and he's like who are you talking to she said Jake from State Park. did you guys like that <laughs> format a little bit better it gave you opportunity to, to bid on more stuff and everybody had a chance going back and forth I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to try to do that a little bit more in the future just so we can show more stuff, give you guys more opportunity to bid. Since we're only doing it once a week, I want to put as much out there for you as possible. I do appreciate you. Sorry I couldn't do all the special voices and singing and all that good stuff, but we'll figure it out. You like that format, Robert? Violet? Good deal. Hey, I appreciate all you guys. I want all of you to have a great, Happy Easter tomorrow. I have not been digging this week, so I'm going to try to get out a little bit and do something. I don't know. But as of right now, I don't have any footage except for the little insulator stuff that I just just sold. But yeah, everybody have a happy Easter, and we'll see you guys back next Saturday. Thank you so much. I'm going to flip these back around into the light box for a second. I'll grab something of mine off the shelf for show and tell. Put the scroll flash back up. Oh, yeah. We'll put the scroll flash back up. Anybody Slots are still anybody? open on the open panel scroll flash, too, guys. Message me. Email us. Whatever you want to do if you want one of those. He has risen. Yes, sir. $20 slots. I'm going to put on the radio bottle hound version number one again. Let me know if you want a slot. The remaining numbers are... To the there. Oh, here it is. Remaining numbers are 4, 5, and 6, and 9 through 18. 4, 5, and 6, and 9 through 18. Enjoy the music, and we will see you guys back next week. Happy Easter! brother man thanks guys Fred says hi Kim brother man Yeah.
he finds a site to dig, he must have paid permission. And there's no other truck for him that can't get off on fishing. He digs on farms and homesteads in rivers and in lakes. Gonna keep on searching cause he's got just what it takes He's a bottle hound He's a bottle hound Extract those treasures out of the ground Keep on digging bottle Easter guys from Crick Diggers. See you back.